Hi, I'm Lisa Morton, and I'm going to read you a story called The Unmasking. This is from an upcoming project I'm involved with called Spine Tinglers. I can't tell you anything more about that project quite yet, but I hope you'll enjoy this story, The Unmasking. Come on, let's take off our mask. Devin leaned forward, extending a hand towards Diana's face as if he intended to snatch her mask. She involuntarily stepped back, and she heard him laugh beneath his own face covering. You know you want to, he teased. There was some truth to that. Diana did want to see all of his face. What she could make out of it, his smooth, dark brown skin and the mischievous eyes, the curly hair that he'd highlighted with blonde, looked like the picture on the dating app. Except, of course, he was smiling in the picture, not wearing the plain black cloth mask he had now. She would thought he had nice lips. She glanced around the park where they'd agreed to meet. Perched above a cliff above the Pacific, it was mostly empty this time of night. The locals were all hunkered down in their homes eating food they'd had delivered and trying to remember what day of the week it was. But the park wasn't completely empty. There was a man jogging with his dog, and there an older couple strolling along, the man's mask sagging under his nose. Diana involuntarily tugged hers, which featured a grinning mouth with fangs, back up and said, Well, I do want to, but there are other people around, and, well, you're worried that I might have the virus, Devin said. Well, yeah. Would it help if I told you I just got the test results back yesterday and I'm negative? Diana rolled that around in her head. But that was yesterday. How long did the results take? A day? A week? You could have gotten it since then. Or you could even just be lying to me and you've never even been tested. Instead, she said, Yeah, but I haven't been tested. Aren't you worried about me? He gazed at her earnestly. No, because I think I could really like you and that means you'd be worth the, the risk. Devin looked around. Okay, so check it out. There's absolutely no one here but us now. She followed his gaze, saw he was right. They were completely alone. To one side, the park's grass and pathways meandered up to the parking lot and residential streets. On the other side, a low fence guarded against the sheer drop-off that fell 50 feet to the sea-washed rocks. Alone. Devin stepped slightly closer, holding out his arm. Okay, how about this? We just hold hands. I mean, while keeping socially distanced. She nodded. She reached out and took his hand. He squeezed her fingers, rubbing them. His skin was soft and dry, and Diana felt electric sparks fly. See, he said softly, that wasn't so bad. It wasn't, she agreed. I really want to see you, he said. I want to see you, too. What if we take off our mask but stay six feet apart? When Diana didn't answer, he added, Look, if I sneeze or cough or anything, you can push me off that cliff, okay? Diana looked around again. The park was still empty. She released his hand and stepped away. Okay, but you first. He reached up and, as if performing a strip tease, slowly pulled the mask down, bit by bit, until it was completely off, dangling from his finger. Diana was pleased to see that he was as handsome as his picture. He raised his hands and his eyebrows. So? Nice, she said. He walked up to her slowly, teasingly, but she stood her ground until he was just inches away. Should I maybe take yours down with my teeth? Something was wrong. Diana didn't know exactly what, but she was abruptly on edge. Can I just give you a hug, he asked. Against her better judgment, she said, okay. He put his arms around her, bent his head close to her ear, and whispered, Hey, guess what? Diana whispered back, What? I lied. He pulled back and coughed right into her face before saying, I've got coronavirus. Then he exploded in laughter. He howled and pointed as Diana stood, frozen. She let him continue for a few seconds. Then, without another word, she reached up and began to pull her own mask down, the fabric showing a fanged smile descending to reveal her own fanged smile, with teeth far longer and sharper than those printed on the mask. Devin stopped laughing, but tried to get out one more weak chuckle. What is that, a mask under your mask? No, Diana said, striding towards him. This is all me. In that second, Devin tried to turn and run, but her hand was on his shirt, pulling him back, slamming him to the ground. She stood over him, her huge teeth glinting wetly in the park sodium lights. Look, Devin said, panicking. It was a joke. It was just a really bad joke. I'm sorry. I don't have coronavirus, okay? Oh, good, Diana said, because 
I didn't want to eat you if you did. She reached down toward him, and Devin tried to pull away, shaking as he curled into a fetal position. Well, what are you? he cried out. I'm a ghoul, Diana answered. A ghoul? But don't, don't ghouls only eat dead bodies? Right. Diana picked him up and hefted him easily overhead, even as he shrieked and struggled. She walked over to the low fence bordering the cliff's edge. And that's why I'm going to throw you off the cliff first, then feast on your dead body down below. As Devon th flew through space to crash into the rocks and the pounding surf, Diana wondered how many other women he'd lied to and laughed at, treated like toys. Oh well, she thought as she prepared to scramble down the cliff. Doesn't matter now, because I'm hungry. Thanks and happy Halloween.